Orphan Espresso Tech Tip Descaling with Citric Acid. Part of the question is, do I need to descale? How often to, to descale? Uh, uh, I find that the best thing to do is to inspect the machine, and a very handy tool for inspection is a flashlight such as this that has the long flexible uh, tube on it. You can literally, when the machine is empty, you can uh, put the flashlight down inside the boiler and actually peer in and you can look around and you can see uh, the condition of the surfaces of the boiler and if you need to descale. Uh, that's just, so inspection is very important. Uh, citric acid itself uh, behaves most actively uh, when the water is extremely hot. It dissolves well when the water is hot and it works best when the water is hot. So here we have a machine that is up and, and running. It's full of water. Uh, we use about one tablespoon per boiler full or per liter of water. What I'm going to do is use the espresso machine for a hot water source here. Very simply, go ahead and draw water through the group in order to dissolve my citric. About a half a pitcher full will do it. Dissolves quite rapidly when the water is this hot. Now I need to take the machine back down so I can open the boiler and put it in. Different indications of uh, needing to descale. In the particular case on this machine, there are striated lines of scale on the sight glass. These will likely have to be uh, removed manually when I rebuild the machine. Uh, inside the boiler, there are lines of scale around the boiler, likely from sitting with water in it for a long period of time, producing these stripes. And there's also a light coating of a blackish uh, uh, material uh, that's on the brass, and this, is the, this black coating is a very common thing to see. It doesn't really interfere with the function, but I think some people uh, suspect that it affects the taste uh, of, the, of the espresso just a bit. Uh, once we get down to the point where we can open the boiler, uh, we're going to proceed with one of the simplest maintenance tasks. I'll just move it along a little bit here. You can use hot water boiled in a kettle or any other place, but you're going to have to heat the machine up anyway for your treatment, so I kind of like to do it this way. It seems to save a step. and also gives me a chance to burn my fingers. Whoa. Okay. Now, very simply, we'll add our water, citric acid solution, through the top. You'll find that uh, this, the citric solution is very sticky, almost like sugar water when you, you get it on yourself or in the other places. Now, what we're going to do is recycle the machine back to, back to hot. Uh, the, the, there's, there's really no, not any reason to agitate. The, the solution pretty much makes itself. We are going to want to draw a little bit of the solution through the group. Which we'll do just by simply lifting the lever or running the pump or, or whatever system, that, system you have to have. But we want to get a little citric in here as well. So that's probably filled it. Uh, you can also, if you please, you can run a little steam through here, but it's fairly ineffectual as far as, uh, as, far as removing scale from these parts of the wand. It's, it's simple enough to take this apart and, uh, and clean them mechanically. But there you have it. Once the machine is hot, we'll go ahead and turn it off, let it sit for an hour, Remove the top, empty out the solution, rinse, empty, rinse, do this three or four times to make sure you've got rid of it all. Heat, heat it up, open the, lift the lever so you've cleared with fresh water, you've cleared any citric that's, that's in here. 
uh, you might notice a slight bluing of the water through the sight glass and when you empty it out it might be slightly blue or blue-green, kind of the tidy bowl effect. Uh, that's a, a, a natural uh, reaction of the citric acid with the brass. It's nothing to worry about. And uh, that is the technique. And for, it is food safe. It is food safe. That's a very good point. But that's the technique for cleaning your machine with citric acid. Once again, about one tablespoon per liter. Run it hot. Let it sit for an hour. Cool it down. Inspect. If you feel like you want to repeat, go ahead. It won't hurt the machine. The machine's clean, descaled, ready to go.